Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to another BMTV Balloon Basics. As you can see, we're joined by Kerry from Qualitex. Kerry, hello. Hello, hello. And today, Kerry is going to show us something that's really simple but works so, so well how to inflate a deco bubble, aren't you? Yes, yes, I am. So, we've got a deco bubble. Here's one. And it's pink because it's got a 16 inch Qualitex balloon in there and a bit of 260Q that you're gonna, you're gonna tie it with. We've got a different color. Actually, I'll, I'm talking, you, you do it, you do it. <laughs> um, the only reason I would normally use a pink 260Q to tie it, but the only reason I'm using the dark is to show the technique to make it okay. nice and easy. Very good. Um, the one thing I would say with putting a 16 inch inside, like I've discussed before, just make sure you pre-inflate it before you put it in. You could actually, when using a 16 inch, just tie a knot and it's done yeah. because you're treating it like one balloon. However, I want to show you how to tie off a deco bubble using a 260Q, because if you can master this, your product and your creations will last weeks. Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. What I'm going to do, first off, I'll pop it in there, give it a nice twist. I'm going to get you to hold it a minute, because I just want to show how to take air out of a 260Q. Fear, fear. You'll okay. be fine. All right. Just take it there. I've got it. You got, I've got it? it. I'm just going to grab this here. So what I do first is I pinch the top of a 260Q, I pull the air out. Now it's really important to do this because you can get a nice tight connection, whereas if you don't do this, you can get air bubbles yep. and, and things like that. So then I just do a knot there. And then what I've done with the ones I'm using, I've just done a knot in the middle twice, like so, and cut it just because I can have two then, oh, rather than using one. Yeah. Look after the pennies and the pounds look after themselves. Definitely. So I'm going to grab it back okay. off you. Ooh. Oh, God, I felt the pressure. <laughs> so what I tend to do, if I turn this way, I pop this on my two fingers and that mm -hmm. almost holds it. I pull it nice and taut. Then I go in one direction six times. So one, two, three, four, five, You've got six. me nodding every time <laughs> you're doing that. The one thing I would say is... When you first do it, it feels quite hard to get it through your arms. So I just want to show you how to do it okay. if you struggle getting it through. Oh, you've got little arms. You've got little arms, yeah. So with this, you just literally pull it taut, pull it round. Use your other hand to pass it round. And just make sure you're pulling it nice and tight so you can make that nice, tight connection. So keep it really, really taut. That is the most okay. important thing. If you've gone around six times, then what do you do? Just do a double knot like you're tying your shoe. Okay. So grab, pull, mm -hmm. make a little loop, thread that through, grab and pull. And that is it. As simple go. as that. Fantastic. And there you go. That is how you tie a deco bubble. 